Hello, Gliss Babe. Happy Monday. This is me, Nancy, and welcome back to Gliss Assessing in Such Life Tutorials. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And hope you all have a fabulous Monday. Hope you had a fabulous weekend. And I'm so excited to be back today with another tutorial. So let's get to start with the video today. And here is uh, a quick look of a part of my set on the 30 day challenge and this is day seven so today later you're gonna see the set of number eight so i'm going to do continuous 30 30 set in 30 days um first of all to just you know um just refresh and just more continue education and practice for me throughout seven set which is one week i learned so much even those i'm doing it like um in the self challenge sometimes you don't have to get like really want anyone to tell you to challenge just challenge yourself and then i needed it and it's great to finish the years with the 30 day challenge so i am really appreciated and thank you so much for joining me and then to see it's fun of 30 day challenge with me and a lot of you comments if you want to see any of the set that you would like me to include it in my challenge don't hesitate to comment comment in any any of the posts um i would definitely personal check it and then i would definitely make it happen like if you want to see some certain sets that you would like to see included in my challenge let me know because i would love to like you know is uh, make it happen so this uh set the features of the um milky white i have the milky white right here but today i'm going to use both milky white and pure white so this is one uh, two of the colors i love the most for the ombre pink and white and then i use different color which is the rose nude and this is a dark nude earthly and beige this is almond milk and also there's one more colors with neutral um you see that on the uh one of my swatch right here also today i'm going to show you is really quick simple easy how to achieve uh, ombre for beginners and for diyers um so simple and easy it is, looks difficult but actually it's, i promise it's gonna be really simple it's just some tip and trick we can achieve it together and then some really cute simple basics of a crystal placement and i have it ready for you then i took a picture already if you want to save them they are on the igtv i mean i'm sorry yes on both igtv reels and also on facebook as well so definitely uh, check them out so let's get started with the nails today oh it's this one of really cute thing that i put the charms on and it's really simple and easy i will do one of the nails today so then you can see how i install this one uh, together is so simple and um, it's fun to wear it too. It's really cool and it's staying on. It's really good. And I'll show you how you can save them. I mean, secure them and then they're not coming off. So I have a couple of swatches right here ready. I have these two nails is ready. So then, and after we're done with encapsulate, we can get right into liquid and powder. And I'm going to show you it's really easy. So then you don't have to work so hard to using so much of filing by just control some of your uh, ratio of your liquid and powder. So this is super simple. And I'm using the foil, like a nice shirt foil and um, sky bling from this nails. This is sky bling and rose nude. And then this is beige and the, a little bit of sky bling and the... Um, the foil box i love this this is so cool and it's stunning and number 87 is nice shirt uh foil box and um also i'm using the encapsulate cute like a glitter charms from the uh, subscription box that i got this month and december sub box so it's still a viable for use if you want to get it's such a lot of fun nail art in there and also in this month you are receiving the um the uh, velvety gels a lot of you ask and then wish for velvety gels is gonna be in the subscription box and of course you ask for it and then here in the sub box this month so grab them before they are like um the date end or the box is sold out so we're gonna start with the um i'm gonna using this number 10 so me i'm using um personally i prefer three sizes is size 10 size 12 and size 14 
um, why I go different sizes and then also in a different season as well. Like it's now when a season is really cold. A lot of you in the state that had the temperature drop down really cold. So the purpose of when you are having the brush number 10, I have a brush number 14 here. Um, the bristle is more. So what it does, the purpose of the bristle is more, it means it's going to hold more of your monomers. So when it have more monomers on it, it means that it's going to make your beads and your ratio a little bit more like wet, which is more liquid than more powder. So then sometimes you have to chase your beads more and get frustrated more because it gets so much liquid in there versus the summer. Summertime is getting a temperature is a little bit warmer. So then it's good to get a bigger size. So then it hold like is the ratio of monomer more and then that way you can able to um walk faster i mean in the summertime because then it's it whole your monomers i have a number 12 over there so there are three sizes i'm using it throughout the years in the different seasons so number 12 um yeah number 12 right here i got it so number 12 is a little bit smaller then the 14 so less uh the bristles hair so you can see that number 10 number 10 number 12 number 14 and then they are not crimped at all the reason it is because we love to using this is the really important point that when you are blending your ombre or blending any beads this the belly of your bristle is important if, if you crimped it everybody different so a lot of you love to work with the crimped um brushes and you can blend it really well but for beginner and diy it's great to have no crimp to it so then that way the belly of the bristles can really control and then help you blend your um powder your beat is easier without having any of uh, troubleshooting so um summertime i use a lot of number 14 for the longer nails and then 12 for the longer nails and especially is number 10 for short nail but then in winter time I still able to use a long nail with number 10 because then it holds less a monomer. Because if I um, start using this on the long nails, all of my beats and um going to be really like runny because of the temperature drop down. I was usually in here in Florida in winter time. It's like can be dropped down to like 50 or 60. Uh, not having any snow, but it's temperature is cold. Summertime can go up to 100 degrees. So then... Uh, we definitely need it to get it it's like the little bit bigger brush, the bristles, so then it can um, balance the ratio for me. So this is a little bit quick of some simple ways that how when you selecting a brush. Um, however, everybody have a different techniques in different ways. So you are um, working at play with this and then you will find out what brush is work the best for you. If you are going to be in the winter time, the brush number 14, it work great, then do it. You know, it just, it just really what it works the best for you. So I'm going to submerging my brush number 10 into the um, monomer. Give me one second. Uh, get that one so okay so here is good though i'm gonna show you right now that it happened that when i did it just a little bit earlier and i stopped and then talking to you so when it happened like this is really simple only you need to do is getting a little bit of acetone um uh, the pure acetone really quick and then you just pour it in it's like a tall latch, but don't leave it in there. Soak it, but make sure you hold it in on the, so then it won't point your bristle down. So I'm going to hold it on this side right here. Fields can hold it for me. Maybe about like 60 seconds. So then it's dissolving all of your monomers and a powder off. So then we can moist the brush again. I'm so glad it's happened all at life. So then I can answer all the question of, you know, how you can clean your brush, how you can get, um, remove all the liquid and powders off of the brush. So that will hopefully it help answer all your questions. So I'm going to go into my, using my, um, 
brush number 12 I have on the sides. I love to have three of them because I always have the backup. So brush number 12, a little bit bigger. So I'm going to get less of a monomer. So I'm going to go ahead and using is um, Pure White number 25. And on this Pure White, I'm going to do is really, really thin, thin coat. And then also you can do is milky white and thin and uh, pure white as well. It just really depends on your client. Your client's like, oh, I don't want, I don't want the ombre to be too white. White. You can get the milky white for the clients, but your clients is like love to have. Um, obviously the color white white. You can definitely um, add the pure white or milky white. It's really preference. So I am go ahead and submerging my brush back into the monomers and i'm going to pick up just a little bit of sky bling i'm not sure if the camera can show the sky bling right next to me but it's right on my right side so okay so what to do what important if you look at that it looks like i'm using the tips of the bristle but actually i'm using the belly of bristle most of the time it's only my tip of the bristle that for me to anchor it down and lay down the beads and then i'm using the belly so whole entire brush i don't waste anything i'm using the belly of the bristle so then what it does it has is a stronger of whole entire the brush whole entire the belly it will be able to blend your liquid and powder your beads out nicely evenly instead of just the tips only because if you just using the tips only it's going to make it really streaky look so now we'll go in ahead and add just a little bit of uh, crystal clear. Just a little bit. You see that how really, really little bit. We feel like a little bit more of the monomers. We are going to dab it, like tap it right in the paper towel to release some of the extra liquids off from the bristles. So then that way it's not going to be running for you, especially in the winter time. And then now the reason I do some uh, clear because then some particle from a glitter is might be some of them are fine glitter. Some of them I had a little bit more texture. So you want to put just a little bit of crystal clear. So then that way it's blend and it's cap the glitter. So then you get another nice smooth surface. When you're doing the ombre, it's going to smooth much better for you. I mean, it's going to be... Um, blend better for you so i am uh submerging my bristles back into the monomer and then pick up about smaller beads and i am placing it right above of the um sky bling and milky white that i just finished place the bead in there and then we are going to keep the brush the bristle is just flat, parallel with the nails, and then we're gonna use the whole entire body. Mostly I'm using the belly of it instead of it's the tip. So my tip is up in the air pretty much now. If you if I'm turning on this side, you can see that my tip's not touching my um, powder. It's just only the belly of it, it touching right now. So then that, it will help you blend is so much better. So you don't have like um, a troubleshootings with a lot of um, streaky looks and it's not going to blend. And I like to do it a lot of a uh, couple beats, one or two beats, because in that way you can able to control your ombre so much better. So the fourth part, you're going to be perfect your ombre part. And then the second beat, you are going to get closer to the cuticle. So then that way you can get your cuticle um really nice without have to worry about oh my god kitty calls and then ombre at the same time so when when you get a hang of it like couple time you can able to do like if you want to do one beat absolutely you can it doesn't have to be just um two beats you can do is the methods of a one beat you can do method of the two beats I'm going to using is the tip of the brush and you're going to just tuck, tuck in the cuticle area, just a hair away and then you'll tuck it in. 
And then now you're gonna using the whole entire belly of your bristle and you're gonna blend your powder. I really want to get it really, really tail for you as possible because sometimes it looks on Instagram. If you're seeing it all the Instagram, you know, we editing is video, it looks so much easier than it is. I really want to get like is exactly what I'm using and what I'm doing, how to achieve that looks. I really hope that it helps. And then now if you want to get a little bit more of hint of the um, sky bling or any other glitters, you want to just get a little bit hint, just a little bit, just a little bit go a long way. If you have a sky bling is all you need it has like such a great effects of a glitter and also it's coming like i think a gel polish and then um uh gravity gels all right so just a little bit and i am go ahead and using some of my charms i'm really in love with this i'm so cute should i get um the christmas wreath right here do i have the other one is the it's a tree already so i want to do something different what is that called Merry Christmas. That's a wrap. Oh, it's Merry Christmas. Look, look, look. You think? Why not? Should I? Use it. Look what they say, Merry Christmas. I almost put it upside down. <laughs> and then what is that one? Okay. Make sure I don't get it um upside down. Oh my god, the pink one is so cute. The pink one with the sweater. With sweaters. Yep, the penguin with a sweater. Penguin with a sweater, so cute. And I love the charm. It's just so easy to encapsulate, and it go flows really well. What else do you want to add? Do you want to add the tree on it? Yes or no? Have a tree. What is that? Just a little pieces of something. I don't know. You have so many in the charm, though. I guess we can have a tree up top. On the bottom? All bottom. You can do however you want. The other ones, I just do two tree. This one. It's funny because it's supposed to be a knot pole. And then knot pole doesn't have the Christmas tree. It does. Maybe it does. Why not? They can have a fake tree plan there. Okay, so now after you're done with this, we are going to cap this baby. So then that's why all that the encapsulate will stay on. Submerging my bristle back into the um, monomer. And pick up crystal clear powder. It's really crispy, crisp, you know, like crystal clear. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right you can do it right on the cuticle area if you don't want to a lot of you will prefer to go on cuticle area just in case you are heavy-handed just me a lot of time i happen to me too you can cover that and make sure that is we're not um taking the cuticle area off um but then if not the important you want to cap where is your um ombre is so I'm going to using the belly of the bristle and blend the um, crystal clear. Pick up more. When you first start it, if you know, it's great to get the smaller bead at a time. And then when you get so used to with this and so comfortable with it you can definitely move it up to do one beat um, it's really it's up to you sometimes i was doing it in two beats and three beats and actually it's end up is really good because then pretty much i don't have to shape any um like a lot i mean so when i finish this pretty much that is just really little shipping so make sure you tip it in the side so then that way your nails stay really nice and it will not look bulky on the size okay we're gonna be let this baby is set for a little bit on the side 
and moving on the next one i should do this one first but i don't want to confuse everyone so premium i hope channel for And then make sure you're doing it. I'm going to cap it. It's like I'm going to do it in like half the nails here for 60 seconds, uh, 30 seconds. <coughs> in the meantime, there's so many cute designs that we are going to do. So which transfer for design you going to do? Oh, right here. The nice shirt. Easy. Anything. Anything you can do. You can do anything. It doesn't have to be this. You can do any of this for. You can do designer. Do anything you want. You can do like a sparkly white. That looks nice. Huh? Sparkly white. So the white with like a thunder stroke. Okay. This one? I mean, that's a four. Yeah. Which one is that? Sparkly white. This one? Mm hmm Huh? Then what do you do? You can do another dance with that. Okay. You can do any color. I want to do this one. Give it a good pressure. Sometimes yesterday, um, last video, I did, and I will share with you. Sometimes, if you feel like it's not chamfer, just don't worry. Just make sure you give a good rub because sometimes still have an air bubble underneath. And too much air bubble is will have a little blotchy or some spot that it have air bubble there that it not chamfer or is that part doesn't have enough chamfer for gels. So if you feel like air bubbles, you can definitely just lick it back up and chamfer it. Give you a good rub again. You see how good it chamfer. It's only not chamfer when it doesn't have like a chamfer for gel where the part it is. The chamfer completely for you and now if you are doing the designs on the gel polish is no problem but if you're doing a liquid pen powder we are going to give it a quick no wipe top coat quick quick no wipe top coat in this video we did so many times like many many times so um you can even watch rewatch watch replays i have a hundred of videos that i saved with the chamfer foy uh encapsulate so I'm gonna keep it really quick flash cue for 30 seconds. The purpose of it is to keep to protect our foy image because if we're putting the monomers in here, what it does, monomers will dissolve all of the foy and it's taking all of your designs away. So um just put the coat of the you know what top coat on, it's gonna protect it, and you can do encapsulate however you would like. <clears throat> this one when it's ready so i'm gonna put just a really thin coat if the monomer first of clear and then we can using the um beige submerging my brush into the monomers pick up the beige And place it right above of your foil image where we just finish. And make sure you blend this one using the tips of your bristle to make it nice and thin because then that way when the next beads you are putting on is going to blend well together. So now I'm using the belly of the bristle and blend it for the part of ombre so now i'll pick up another beads from the beige colors dare to bear collection and then you are going to place it right close to the cuticle just a hair away from the cuticles and then tuck it in tuck 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 And then using the belly to blend it as well. Because the belly will have is um, more pressures and then even pressure for you. So when you blend it, it will be able to move your powder 
and your beads easier. And now you can go back and add some more at wherever that you, what part of the nails you would like to. And so now if you want to add any of the uh, charms on, absolutely, you can add some charms on, you can leave it like this, or you can add some um, charms or uh, glitter on. I'm going to add some snowflakes. It's the best to do it now when it's still wet. Because it's going to like adhere its Perfect. Want some glitter? Yes or no? Just a little bit. So now, if you don't have a whole collection of glitters of anything sky bling, this is a bomb. So many clients love this and well, it works all year round it doesn't have to be just christmas or new year it's all year round i love it you ask for it and a lot of you have it already so congratulations i'm so happy that you're enjoying it so now you're happy with this you can add any glitter on you can add the newest collection from uh winter holiday collections glitter or you can do any any whatever you like whatever you would like you prefer so now we are going to cap it with the crystal clear you can do and tie the nails cap or you can do it right away is ombre start so then that way, when we're shipping and filing, all the ombre parts will not disappear and or encapsulate, especially we encapsulate the, um, the acute glitter charms in there. So now in this beautiful design, it is three techniques going on right now. There is an ombre technique, they are encapsulate Two different encapsulates, so like foil and glitter. And make sure you are using the belly. So I'm using most is if you see that I'm doing this, I mean I'm using the belly of the um the bristle right now to blend all of my powder clean it up if you have the excess underneath most of the shipping when you're filing is going to come right off as well all right we're going to let it dry for a little bit just get a little bit of right there Great. It's on cooler. Huh. <laughs> All right. So a lot of fun and information uh, on these two nails. And then let me move this one on this side for a second now. Sure, clean and remove. Oh, can I get my brush? Just brush. Oh, you're supposed to hold it. What did you do? Oh, you, you clean it already? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Let me see. Which one is uh, the cap there? Sure. So clean it, which is that you are going to release all of excess powder and liquid off. And I roll the tip of my bristle on the edges of the dappen dish and shape it back into where is um before i start and cap on to prevent and then the cap to help with the air flows and prevent from getting dust and the moist 
that it's not necessaries when doing in um within your station because we work a lot and then all the dust and the filing we get we don't want to get into the uh bristle and then when bristle is set set and then it's getting um clean and dry there you don't want all the dust is coming that is not necessary it's going to destroy it I don't want that happen because then the brush is going to get start getting mold or all of the dust i mean not mold i mean dust and everything okay so close this one the crystal clear i love it it has a big size of the crystal clear and you're gonna able to see that on the website really really soon so let me move all this ones on away and then we can start doing is um So I'm using super cute charms from the from the box. It's so fun. A lot of you might get the different designs, but I get these two designs, and I'm so excited about. I get so much to do in the um, fun theme for holiday coming. You can do as like a holidays. You can do it as a Christmas or winter. I'm gonna close this one really quick. So then, when I shipping, it's so we're not getting any dust in there. So we'll get my few nails going on right there. This one is still um drying. So in the meantime, these two are drying. I have the two nails that's ready for crystal placement. So this is this the crystal placement. I got it from the um. <coughs> ultimate crystal kit the ab kits i unfortunately i didn't have the one show i have a brand new one but the ones i have it is dropped on the floor it's right there yeah. we're still sorting it them out <laughs> i don't know if any of you is happened during accidentally when i was doing um and they're all so sad but they're still gorgeous i just have to get some time to put them back together so i can show you that, but there, there's brand new one that you can get it on the website and it's not messy like this. Uh, I have the one simple when you get it is come like this. So then you have to unpack each of them. So then this is for the shipping. So then that way when we ship, it's not going to get scratched from all beautiful crystal. So mine is get a little bit of a mess up. But, but you know what? It's good news is before that happened i got all the designs ready for you and i saved the picture i took a picture that's how it's after that and it happened um i get the designs is out for you this is all from the um 90 uh not nine thousand. why is it nine thousand? ultimate because the kids the newest one is so stunning and so gorgeous they have a whole tray whole tray the beat but i scooped the beats on another tray already so this is what are remaining when it drop and it's go everywhere um but the other ones i save it in the little tray Oh, it's so sad. But hey, at least I got the whole um this place for you here. So we're gonna do some crystal placement. We're gonna do some cute simple because I don't want to take away from the ombre. So now if you are having a client, they love to get the um winter holiday theme like this. So oh Nancy, I just want this encapsulate ombre encapsulate. Great top coat. They want matte top coat, apply matte top coat here, and they're good to go. They want a shiny top coat, apply shiny top coat here for 60 seconds and good to go. We're like, oh, I want some a little crystal on it. Let's do some crystal one for them. So we're going to start with the trifecta, which is the condensed cool gel first. Uh, should we do a matte or shiny? Well, this is shiny so a lot of questions are asking if you want to do a matte the same with what I'm doing a matte. Only you need to do is condensed cool gel and the matte top coat instead of shiny. So if you want your finish to be matte, then use a matte top coat. If you want your finish to be shiny, then use shiny top coat, which is come in your trifecta. So I am, I'll go ahead and apply right in maybe a half of the nail. So a lot of you will question too, if I do just, just the half of the nail, so do I have to apply to full uh, nails? No, not necessary. But make sure you blend it this, like you see that how I end it, just blend it. So then that way, 
you don't have a big lumps of it when you are um, transitioning from the condensed glue gels uh, to the end of the nails. I mean the top coat. So I'm going to go ahead and using a no wipe top coat. No wipe shiny top coat. And then floating on the top. I feel like I'm really like concentrate today. Like I didn't even see anyone's comment because I'm focused on the nails. I want to give it all information if possible. And really like informative information for beginner DIY. So now, oh my God, that's so hard to pick which one now. This one is so cute though. Should I do this one? I like that one. Start with the bow first. I am so upset that it was so cute. And then crystal scale, which is just all in that kit. That's beautiful kit. It's the newest kit. And I said, everything you need to have. All the baby right here. And where the beads? Um, can you grab me the beads? Right here. I have a bead. Yep, I able to, to um, scoop my tray back in a little bit. I'm so sad. So right now, we only use top coat with the condensed glue gel. That one to make sure all your crystals right there, and two to make sure that you do not have to go back for the top coat. Once you're done with everything, this the moment you get top coat on top of your crystal, it will lose its shine. I want to see what you said, my sad kids. <laughs> Because I need to get some AB fillers. This is come with cool though. I'm gonna get the um I'm gonna ask for the second kit so I can show you, but you can see it's like prettier than my my get it's so sad now, but it's still gorgeous. So I'm gonna add like SS4 on the end of the crystal scale. And that's about it. If you don't want anything else, I don't want to cover the tree. I make sure that it's straight it's right in the middle. Unless the client's doing a diagonal design, then is you don't have to worry about in the center. I'm going ahead and remove on the edges of all the excess um, uh, extra gels on. And then now I have an idea. You can add boop. This is SS3 that I have in this kit. I'm going to add it on. It looks like a snow sparkle snow. Even though the um, sky bling is so gorgeous already. All right. Great. All right. Gear for 60 seconds. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to do one of the... Um, I'm going to do one of... I'm going to drill one of this one in for you. The charms, okay? So we're going to do that. And this one is already done and ready to go. So we are going ahead and using condensed glue gel. The other nails, the first one already curing, is baking right now. Apply is one really good is coat of the condensed um, glue gels. So I will do the drilling and um, install that charms on the last steps after you finish everything. And if you can't show them that ring finger, they want to see that. Oh, the hook. oh okay. Here. Let me blend this one first. So we don't have to do it all the way in the end. If you are not applying crystal on the end, which is in this beauty nails, I beautiful nails, I'm not doing it. So here's my ring finger. Where am I? Right here. Yep. Yeah. So you so we did drill three hole and we got three hook on charms on there. It's so easy. I'm gonna show you. I promise it's gonna be like easy. See. It's so cute though. I'm really enjoying it. I feel like it's really cute. You can do all different charms on it. There's and then stay tuned. There's like a Christmas charms is on the way to. You can do any. Okay. So I'm gonna do this one right after the crystal placement. So then you can see that. So I'm gonna using a no wipe top coat. Thanks so much, everyone. I really, really appreciate everyone stopping by, say hello, asking questions. This the video is for you. You know, it's all the video is going for all of you and for myself as well, so I can learn with you. So, oh, that is hard to pick which one is going to be. Which one should I do? I should do a flowers one. 
I'm doing this one. This one is cute. This one is so cute, though. You know? Do this one fancy. Or oh, this one. Do this one fancy, like my rings in there. So I'm going to pick up this drop. This is Cuties from the um, Ultimate Crystal Kits. That's AV. It's perfect for beginners, this kit. Beginner on DIY is perfect. So many crystal. Like 20, 14 different uh, shapes. And then all SS that you can do with. You will never go wrong with this. You are having so many of a crystal to do, to place with, to work with, to practice, and to do your clients as well. So I'm adding a frame, which is the frame it comes from this beautiful crystal kit. Adding uh, this A B on, and I'm gonna finish with some beads. So now your clients don't want any beads on. Don't worry, just keep it, and you're gonna go with. Uh, triple secure with the um, precision glue gel. But if the clients want, oh my god, I want Nancy, I want it being like um, more like a jewelry finish, then you can add some beads on for them. This for beginners um, information that if you want to price it, so this is the nails had three different techniques going on. Four different techniques. So we have first techniques we have is the um, um, foil underneath. And then we have encapsulate foil glitter. And then charms, uh, dramatics, like glitter underneath. So one, two, three, four. And then the crystal placement. So each technique you are adding on is going to be at least approximate about $5. So your 15 and your 10 to $12, this design or 15 is a lot of nail techs on a different salon. They do $15 for dramatics crystal. So each, each techniques will be like $5. So 15, 15, like $30, $25 uh, plus that you add the charms on it. And also it's really depend on salon location, competition, uh, the techniques, and the products you're using so it doesn't have to be necessarily the same price at but then that is a fair price i share so with all of you so it's just really depend on uh if you want to run promotions or you are running um early bird special if you want to fill in your appointment book that's just one of the ways that um it good to to for your um, campaign for your promotion with your lovely clients really really depends all right so i'm happy with this we're going to clear this beauties for is uh 60 seconds okay how simple it is just be careful okay i'm gonna put this on this side hope i'm not gonna spill this again because it's it was so perfect it was so perfect and i'm ready to get it and then it just slid off the edges with not expecting at all okay so now i got this beats from the the uh, whole collection of beats that i have here mine has been with me forever and this one you see me do a lot in the videos that i fired down all the book from the nails safe it's ceramics easy to disinfect it clean and i removed the most of the box off from there and i'm using this to clean it between the smooth the surface and also this is really cool that if for a lot of beginners it's great to do this one you can see that the angle of it right so it like is about 30 degree angles 60 degree angle so then when you are laying it on the nails so you're never going too deep or too shallow so then that way it still is going to be how do i showing it in the nail so when you're firing it it's gonna it's gonna help you stop where your ace pack is and then is a critical uh safety so then it's not going to too sharp so when you go in around the cuticle it's not gonna poking in the client's cuticles at all and then when you are moving your beads, you see that how how the surface of it touching. So you're never doing it like, or you are flattening too much and taking your apex away, or the structure is gonna change. 
And then this one is for the shorter nails. See the shorter nail and this one for the longer nails because longer nails and your structure is going to be different from the shorter nails. So then, yes, so we have transfer foil at the bottom yep. and then ombre with acrylic powder on top. And then this one is for the kitty goals cleaning up and this one is clean it when you're doing the chromes and all the remove all the dust and this is Arbor Band. So I'm going to put this one in here. I took one of this one. Is, I love it so well as well. I smoothed it in the kitty coats area. So this one you can do in kitty coats and underneath of the nails as well. So all in one in that kit. Um, can you close it then? And then this one I took it from the from the kits um, B2. So now we're going to turn in the e-file about... 16 or 20 20 it's really depend on the brand that you're using so about 20 is good and you're gonna holding hold on not this one this one, this one that. Mm -hmm. and then you are going to hold it like stationary one of your finger here or when you're doing it you're gonna hold the client's nail like you're holding the client's nail like this okay you're gonna make sure you hold the nail bed and then you have stationary, so then your hand will not shaky. And then you want to do preside the hole. You're gonna do 20 um thousands RPM, and you're gonna hold still. Give a little bit pressure down. That's how you have the hole. But the hole is still, so then you and your clients not shaky, and then they're not poking the clients. You don't want that to slid off your hand. And go accidentally hitting a client. So you're gonna hold. Push it down. That's it. Now you have a hole. So you can do that so many times. But make sure that is only applies for the clients have a longer nails. If the client's having a nails close to the nail bed, you can't able to drill it like to make a hole through the um, nail plates. So it's only for the clients have at least to get a get like Maybe a quarter of an inch. So then you have the space here so you can um you can make a host for that. So that one is got a really nice hose ready to go. And then I just need to do is to get my charm and the ring and in the in the, in the fantastical uh charm mix from a metal art. And there's like you get a lot of different rings like link like this and i using the smaller one this one a little bit smaller because i don't want it tangled as long some clients the one longer and you can link them you can do this big one to the smaller ones and then if the clients want to be getting a longer charms they can have it longer so i'm gonna hook this one really simple I want this one right here because it's face out, right? And then just simply, if you have two of the clippers, good if you don't have two. And you can just use one and one hand, like me doing it with one hand. Just hook it there. And I also have a video with this one before as well. And you just close it. It's easier to do on the real nails than the stick <laughs> because, okay, put it on, that's it, and then you close it, that's it, oh, too far. And now you want to completely close, I'm going to show you, we're not using this anyway in the, for all the nails, I am a go ahead. And using precision glue gels, I'm gonna seal it right here. Okay. So then this um, link right here will not catching anything. It's not gonna catching on a hair or clothes or towel or fabrics or whatever. Um, it might happen during the time the clients are weighing it. Okay. And then in the meantime, I am go ahead and precision glues and seals all of the beads. So I'm gonna seal all the beads. 
beats, beats, all the beats. And then after that, I'm go ahead and check on the edges right here because it get a, um, amazing is top coat and condensed blue gel already. So they are grabbing and the base of the crystal is so well. So it's really, really, really minimum chance of you feeling a scratchy unless you, when sometime we're doing a bigger crystal. And then um, with the apex and the C curve, uh, might get some of the gap that you don't have enough of your, or is the crystal is not current to that part. So this is going to be your bestie for all of that um, troubleshooting. So now I'm going to seal, I'm going to keep it for 60 seconds. Remember, don't apply it over on the top of the crystal because you don't want those um, beauties to be getting really cloudy and getting um, uh, shiny and sparkle taking it away. So this is charm, it seals. So now it can spin around without worry about catching because it's sealed already. It it seals completely. So then it's not gonna catching on any fabrics or anything at all. So I'm go ahead and do the sewing the beads, bead beads, and frame. You are going to seal on the top of the beads and the frame, but but just doing around between the crystal. You're going to do on the edges of the crystal. You don't want to do it on the top again because it's going to take away from a gorgeous sparkle and shiny. Okay. And then keep in mind, you can go back. If the client's, oh my God, Nancy, I feel just too scratchy and catching my hair. You can go back and, oh, it's here, the spot here. This is spot, it's get a little bit scratchy. And then you can seal it in. Each time you're going to do, you're going to use just a little. A little go a long way. You don't want to flood it, your crystal. You want to get it in now. And then if you need to do it again and again, key it at least um, 30 seconds first. So let it, so the one layer of the precision glue gel set first, and then go back and seal it again instead of seals all at once because then it's going to flood it and it's going to just run everywhere and going to make it look like lumpy after you key it. So great. So now here is a look. So simple and easy, right? You can do so many of different designs for your clients, and I already share for all of for all of you just tuning in. If you miss it, the first part for liquid and powder, especially good for beginner and DIYer. Great, great information, and some of the really simple tip and trick that I share. And you know, you might notice that every single time you see is some of great information I share, and then sometimes I updated it because as with you know a lot of products is um launching out and a lot of study and develop during um their products and you see that it's getting better and better and so a lot of techniques even get better and better as well so definitely but then still stay current and still trendy so it's applying to all the time for a beginner if you are like you know really excited and interested in to be a nail technician and it's not let me let me um uh, wipe it off first sorry of all the residues that I have it on. But it's all the love for you, for me, and Glitz of Sicily and such to you. And hope you really enjoy the live tutorial. And this will be bringing some cool tip and trick for you during the holiday time or during every day at works for you. Just only a one of the my set to help you work smarter, not harder. So then you can able to continue, create, and enjoy what you're doing and more successful. So here's the look of this two nails. Super cute. But it's not only like a showing a design, but it's more is to a lot of technical. So then that way you can work smarter, not harder. I love this. It's a charm. It's so cute. And like the same charm that I have on. I feel like I put one pouch on this so cute it feels so good it's so funny all right so i hope you're really enjoying it for the live today and let me know what others um tutorials you would like to see or same thing i'm going to get moving on to my next number eight it challenge the day eight um it's fun i have to say and i learned so much too even though you think um I always learning 
from so many uh, different mentors, learning from all of you. Thank you so much for sharing all the beautiful posts, all beautiful work. Just moving it on the side. And this is part of, you know, a challenge for myself. I just wanted to do it for myself. Uh, it's not like requirements, but I wanted it. And I'm so excited. I learned so much for the past, what, seven days now? Mm -hmm. Seven days, going to be eight days. Every single day with each different. It's not about showing up. Each of the time of the set is I do it for myself. I do it so then I can learn. I can review everything. I've been accumulates, got so grateful to learn from so many different mentors and also learning from with all of you throughout every single live video. Thank you so much for a love, for the amazing love and support. And then, you know, I think I'm um, for sure that, you know, after a 30 day challenge, I'm going to learn so much more. I can't wait because in everything I will learn, something is really great and new and it's actually is great and it's help you doing much better and faster smarter i would love to share with you so stay tuned and as a lot of you was great support to watching the day one day two and day three so, until today's i thought this set's gonna be a uh, really a uh, chill but actually it's no sometimes you're thinking of ombre can be really easiest one but it can be really tricky so that's why i was sharing it today because i want um you to get the best out of me um, so you can do is really good with the glick we can and powders ombre it looks easy but we can make it looks easy it doesn't have to be just only on instagram so it definitely can looks easy as we're doing it so i share all the techniques already so i love it and as i learn it too and i sometimes i watch all my um replays and learning all the techniques i've been through able to doing and share with you throughout the years and the past how many years almost four years so we're still here and is I'm so excited. I have what 23 more days to go. <laughs> it's like freaking three more weeks. No eat, no sleep. Just kidding. I still eat, eat a lot. I still sleep and I still go watch movies. <laughs> so and I enjoy doing all beautiful challenges for you and for myself. Um, thank you so much for the love and support. All the products you see me do, you can simply find it on the official website, glissaccessoryandsuch.com. If you couldn't find any link, I tried to put all the details on a different product I used throughout my fun challenge 30 days. So if you haven't seen the one that I list it on the list, and if you have questions, don't hesitate to DM us. Our team will be so happy to assist you, and we're definitely going to check it as well. Um, as all the time and then comments if you want to see like nancy uh you should do some set of abc a lot of crystal like bling out like completely set bling out or whatever you just you just let me know because i would love to include it into my challenge and then you get to see what you want to see and then i can do every time i do challenge i'm doing um tutorials on it so then you can see the process that i'm doing so thanks so much and if you are local here in pensacola we open six days a week for monday to saturday this one huh yeah uh just show them the garlic you used today oh this one well that's that oh, you can work that too so for those of you who ask nancy using the dare to bear collection with yeah. lpy and sky bling so if like okay so here's a good good things about this pure white and milky white so now you are here's a question this is for the beginners or for diy wire um this is a question you're going to ask the customer your clients come in they like if they want to see like do you want to be obviously the ombre white white or you want to be just soft in it white and said oh i want obviously white i want a lot of white sit then you're gonna offer them a pure white however it depends depend on the tip that you're doing. So if the tip that I'm using it clear, when you put the milky white, it's going to look like a little bit of hints of the white. So it's not going to be like really white, white. And also you're doing a thin coat of it. So it's make it even like, it looks like, um, it looks like a foggy. It doesn't look like a pure white, you know? So if the, if you're doing a crystal clear, if you're doing a clear tip, you can be using a really thin coat of pure white. It looks great as well. But if you're doing a natural tips, it's already have a little bit of a background, it's like a natural tip like this. It's had a background of like kind of a, a natural already. You can use milky white. But if you when you're using a clear tips, 
using your pure white because it's see-through. So, and then you ask the customer, so then you can find out more information. The clients, oh, I want a lot of whites on the LCA. I'll get you with the pure white. These are clients, oh, I just want to soft. I don't, I don't want to show off too much. I just want ombre, but I don't want it. Obviously, then you're going to offer and suggest the clients with the milky whites. And then I using beige on this nails. I using a rose nude, a little bit rosies. And then on this nails, I have the picture of before I put any crystals. You can see the cuticle, the structures, and the ombre that I share. So then you can see that instead of just like cover all the crystal, you know, it's just the important is shape, structures, and a cuticle area. That's only three things that I would like to share with you, and you can really. Um, work on it or is um uh, pay more attention on it because i don't want to put the crystal on just wanted to do it first and then you can see the crystal after that so this one is a dark nude so rose nude on this one and then dark nude on the second one also in the pictures on the um uh, instagram you can see um the, the clear and then this earthy and this one the beige and this one is the uh, al almond milk. Like have a um, like have a creamy colors, and it's one neutral. I love that, but I don't have enough fingers to do on the other finger. But you can see this one. This is a dare to bear, uh, dare to bear collection, the newest one, and it's so nice and easy going ombre. And do yourself a favor, grab one of Sky Bling if you want glitter, but not like dramatic glitters like, like soft um like a heat a little bit of a glitter that's gonna be a perfect and this one maybe we can do in the next video this is really cool i using this sky bling which is this is the um also the holiday winter holiday collection if you are really into the holiday so i use or if you have the clients don't want holiday in just one winter so i use a sky bling with the holo red Sky bling with holo, um, hold on, I'm sorry. Sky bling with holo red and sky bling with the dark green. Sky bling with chalk blue, which is that's the color I just did my set, like last set before I move on to this one. Sky bling itself. And this is sky bling and crimson ombre. And this is sky bling and holo green. So this is a winter holiday collection. And this is the... Um, dare to bear collection so i did like almond milk this is almond milk and this is beige i do different voice for your preference and then earthly i did one with the soft which is milky white and one with the um chanfer foil and then this dark nude one with the chanfer foil and one with just by itself with the uh, milky white rose nude and I do one with the chanfer foil and one with just itself. This one is neutral. This is the one that I couldn't do it because there are no nails. I don't have uh, five nails. So there's six colors. So neutral. I did one with the chanfer foil and one's ombre itself. So it's all, if you don't want any crystal on, you can do ombre with the chanfer foil. It's all from a dare to bear. I love it so much. It's just so easy to work with. And I just did all the color because then I I want you to see on the on my nails that how it looks like on on the real um, fingernails. I really really enjoying it today as every day I'm here with you. Let me uh, move this one here for seconds before we say bye. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to seeing the next live video. Here is the two nails that we did today. I'm so enjoying it today. I'm learning it so much from all of you. And thanks so much for uh, being here and join me today. Here is, oh, I like this a lot. Didn't even like thinking that I like it so much. Look at that. You're toning this. You see how the heat of the sky bling? I don't know. I can see it. Yeah, you do. Can you see it? Uh -huh. Look like on uh, Facebook, seems good, but maybe Instagram, it's no, so no, bright. You see, you, you see, see that how you turn, you see that how it reflects it is so gorgeous. Or holographic, oh my goodness, it looks like icy. Perfect for doing it. And if you want to do icy, check out the uh, gravity gels with the sky bling. 
So you can use saran wrap and then do icing. Maybe next next nail we do that. To do tomorrow we'll do that nails. Yeah. yeah so all right. Like to all Glitz Bay, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. And I will definitely gonna see you in hold on. Is that is that cover everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me do this. What's that? No. Bye, everyone. We'll see you in the next live video. Have a fabulous Monday, okay? And be safe. Take good care of yourself. And I will see you then. Bye.